Hey Virgo, what's up Virgo? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus, or wherever you guys have Virgo in your chart. Do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Virgos out there. But if it does, show fire some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book with me, y'all already know, fireintuition.com. All right, Virgo, let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Don't forget, Mother's Day is coming up. And the Mother's Day box is now available on my online store. My tears have filled my heart.com. All the information is in the description box below. Also pinned in the comments as well. All right, you guys. So let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. We have beauty. It keeps coming out. Let's see. Radiant self-esteem and strength. All right. So you guys are beautiful inside out. Let me see. Celebration. These cards keep coming out. Imagination. So this came out, I think, in Leo's. I think. Conjure. Dreams create. So you guys are about to create something very beautiful. Virgo. So use your imagination at this time. Get your wand. Get all your herbs. Manifest that shit. Okay. It's going to bring a lot of bliss, joy, and happiness into your life. But you guys are about to create something beautiful. And whatever you create is going to be beautiful and you're going to be celebrating it or people are going to be celebrating with you or like supporting you. So I really love this for your message. Yes, I really love it when it's straight forward and to the point. At the bottom, we have ask. So launch, what did I just tell you? You're launching something for some of you guys. Store and request. So the universe wants to help you, but they just need you to ask. All right, they want your permission. Okay. So let's hop into the love portion. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos in love this week. Let's see what's going on with the Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's look at your person's feelings towards you. This is going on with Virgo. We got the King of Swords. Why are they hot and cold with you? Are y'all doing an air sign or a water sign? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> accepting a loss here and they they felt defeated with you Virgo and this person felt like you were like harsh but like also like cold they felt like you didn't know what you wanted they felt like you were taking them for granted are you Virgo or is it the other way around Let's see what's going on. These readings been crazy today. Like, what's in the air? Like, what's going on? Why is this King of Swords in reverse? King of Swords in reverse. Let's see. Your purse, this person feels like you want them to be stuck on stupid for you. Or maybe they are stuck on stupid. Oh, we got the death card, five of pentacles. So this person felt like they were stuck on stupid for you. And now they feel like they got to move on. Could be a Scorpio or a Gemini. They feel like it's time for them to move on. They're not going to sit here and be stuck waiting for you. They're tired of waiting. No longer wanting to be stuck on stupid, I guess. Virgo, what's going on, y'all? Like, I don't know what's going on with these readings this week. I was saying that earlier. I'm like, yeah, what's going on? Let's see the five of swords is in reverse. They felt defeated. Yeah, pay the cups in reverse. They feel like you were being petty or childish or immature. 
They felt like you were confused and didn't know what you wanted. They feel like you chose other people or everyone but them. And they felt like they were the ones that was, you know, being serious or taking the relationship serious and you weren't. Is that true, Virgo? Let me see. And we got the Queen of Wands. So male or female, doesn't matter. Now this, per this person feels encouraged to move on, move forward. They were really trying to work things out and come together with you. They really did want something special with you, but they feel like you don't want what they want, Virgo. For some of you guys, they... So for some of you guys, they caught you with like the uh, father of your child or an ex or like your ex-husband or something like that. They caught you giving in to somebody else. You know, or they caught, like, they saw messages. And maybe they caught you guys in an act or something like that. But they, like, it's, because, like, whatever happened, they feel powerless. Now, this can be the other way around. Maybe you caught them in an act. I don't know. I'm looking at their feelings towards you. But, Virgo, this is deep. This is deep. Let's see how they feel towards you. Cuffing season, November through February. Okay. It says, I have a habit of being in relationships only during the winter. I hate being alone when it's cold. So they could have felt like, you know, from November to February, everything was good. Or maybe that's how you feel. Gaslighting. I treat you the way you want to be treated, and then you always complain. I don't know why I'm still with you. You blame me for all your problems. You are the reason we aren't working. So, Virgo, I know you didn't do all this. You gaslighted them. You cuffed with them during the, during the winter season. You moving on. You had them stuck on stupid. Like, what's going on, Virgo? Look, wishy-washy. That was the first card out. Y'all Virgos do be a trick, but I don't know. My fiance not like that. He real chill. I don't know. Hmm. I'll fuck him up if he did some shit like this. I'll be like, boy, bye. Um, let me see. It says dirty laundry being exposed. I go back and forth. Honestly, I don't know what I want. So they could feel like you don't know what you want. Maybe this is them. We have lonely. Love life is completely dry. So somebody does feel lonely here. Toxic love. This connection is missing the element of true healthy love. But neither one wants to let go. Your love life is like a drug. I know it's not good for me, but I am addicted. Mm. So that could be why they're not letting go, Virgo. They're addicted to your love. At the bottom, it says you always have an attitude and it's unattractive. Calm down. So I don't know. Virgo, I'm about to fall off the seat with this reading. I'm here. Sorry, Virgo. I was just uploading. Let me see what are their intentions. Look, they do come back. They're going to come back to y'all. They are stuck on y'all. What y'all do? Y'all got them hooks on it. Y'all got them hooks, Virgo. So let's see. Eight of Cups is somebody returning, though. Eight of Cups in reverse. Let me see. Seven of Wands. Oh, I do see there could have been a little argument. Or something like that. I'm working, baby. You got to wait a second, okay? Oh, you want a hug? All right, come here. I don't think Virgo would mind a hug. Come on. Stay right there. Give mommy a big boy hug. Big boy. Can I play your phone? Mm -mm, I need it for work. Give me a kiss. When I get done, okay? No, this one. I know, when I get done. Because after this, I have to do a phone interview. When I get done, you can have my phone, okay? Okay. Thank you. Be a big boy. 
Sorry, Virgo. Um, let's see. So they're trying to get you off their mind. Like they're trying not to think about you. They're trying to move on and move forward. But it's been hard. Like because even though, you know, y'all got them stuck on stupid or whatever. Y'all got them or whatever. It's like. And whatever y'all did, it's like they're willing to like forgive you and get back with you because like you brought a lot of light and love to their life. Like they're sad and depressed without you. So their intentions are to like bring it back together, like this relationship back together. Even though that you guys wronged them and did what you did because they feel like uh, you guys lied or did something that was unfair or they feel treated unfairly by you. But they want to take a different approach. Like they, they definitely want this to head in a new direction. Like they want to come towards you with good news or they want to hear good news from you. Like, they want to definitely hear something. Like, they're like, okay, like, what's going on? Like, you know, like, I want my person back. Like, I'll fight for you. Even though you're wishy-washy and you're toxic and you do me like this, they just, they still want it. All right, so let's see what they want from you. They want to be more than friends. For some of you guys, you friends on them. And that's what this is about, too. So some of you guys could have let them back into your life, but as friends. Because the Ten of Pentacles reverse is somebody that doesn't know if they want to be with somebody. It could be an unstable situation. You know, maybe families don't get along or maybe y'all were once together and you just feel like it's best to kind of be friends. Because the Ten of Wands is like somebody burning, tired, stressed, you know. And then we have the Two of Cups reverse. Some type of imbalance in this relationship. Yeah, see. So after some type of secrets came out, something changed. And even though this person is coming back, it still hasn't changed. And this person is like, okay, I'm willing to fight in in not give up on this relationship like relationships go through stuff so i'm willing to fight for you i'm willing to fix this you know um they honestly they don't even care about the other person they feel like what y'all got is is better than what they got and that they're willing to you know step it up but i do feel like they you know they do feel hurt they do need to heal from it i feel like their fear is like losing you or their biggest fear is like losing you or they feel like they lost you forever i'm sorry y'all i feel like i got something in my sweatshirt or something or I felt like something was in my sweatshirt. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Um, but they they just they, they don't want to lose you. They feel like uh, even everything y'all went through, like it's like they rather be with you. Damn, for some Virgo, what y'all do to them? For some of y'all, they don't even mind sharing you. They're just like, okay, if you want to be with them, that's fine. But let me just like let me still be in your life. Mm. I don't know, Virgo. I don't know about thoughts. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, you put a spell on it? You put a spell on it, Virgo. Let me see. We have harvest. So it says... You planted the seed that the universe gave you due to your patience and growth. You are now able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So this person feels like y'all planted a seed. Like they don't want to go anywhere. They want to see this relationship grow. Listen and reflect. Sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. So this person feels like their heart is patient and willing to listen and be there and be understanding. We have the memories. Someone is walking down memory lane at this time. It's okay to reminisce about the past by looking at old photos or messages. So, you know, they're going down memory lane. They're looking at photos, pictures, all of that. We have breakup. Yeah, time apart is on the horizon. This may be short term or long term. Let's go into the breakup card. Yeah, they're torn. They're heartbroken over this. There definitely is a, a breakup. And they can't take it. Like they did. This, this breakup has been hard for them. Let's see what you need. What they need. Uh. What they need from you. They they need for you to choose them. They want you to choose them. They know everything hasn't been great. But again, the moon talked about phases and cycles. Things that have failed to come together. You know, things that have been rocky. But they feel like with the king of wands. That, you know, they, they've changed. Connor, put that toy up for right now, baby. Sorry, y'all. I'll play with it quietly. Please, it's making a lot of noise, big boy. Um, yeah, they just feel like people go through things and they feel like they can be the person that you want them to be. 
they feel like they can change. They're ready. They're, they're ready to step up. They've made their mind up. They've changed. They know what they want. This person is like motivated, ambitious now. You know, like they something has changed in their life. Yeah, they feel like, see, the Queen of Pentacles, you're the one they love. You're the person they really want to be with. Like, they don't see themselves being with nobody else but you. And they're cutting off everyone and everything, any distractions. Their perspective has changed. They are surrendering. King of Wands, something in their energy did shift and change, though. Mm -hmm. See how the moon is here with the King of Wands, the moon here? So it's like they went from, like, being a certain way to now everything changing and, and totally opposite. So if this person was lying and inconsistent and cheating, then this person is going to be faithful, honest, and consistent. Like, because, like, something has shifted. It could have been something that happened with the solar eclipse or just something that is shifting and changing for them astrologically. Or maybe they're just going and evolving their chart. But how they were showing up before is not the way they're showing up now. The blues are even two different color blues on here. The King of Wands look totally different. This one looks younger. This one looks a lot more mature. You know, so it's like something could have changed in that little bit of time. All right, so it could be a Libra you guys are dealing with. So we have Libra. I wish I could have done things differently. Your light warms my heart. What did I tell you guys with that sun back there? Romantic gestures. We got sex things. So this person, you know, they might be reaching out, trying to say stuff, you know, trying to get your attention. They want to be romantic or saying stuff like, oh, I miss you. And maybe looking at your pictures and stuff. We have rest required. So it looks like you guys did take a break. We have permission. So this person, you can have a key to your house. So you have a key to their house. Or they want permission to come over. Or they're going to ask if they can come over and come see you. We have the one. Uh-oh. They feel like they are the one. But it's interesting because back there, they're like, you know what? I'm not stuck on stupid, but they're going to come back anyway. We have a union. They're ready for some marriage. Something serious. It could be a Scorpio as well. So it could be a Scorpio or a Leo. Scorpio, Leo, Libra. And they could be like, no, look, I'm ready Something has made them change or something has changed. Messages for... So we're going to take the one on top. We're going to take Zen Garden. Number 38. All right, and it says Zen Garden, Inner Sanctuary. It says, life is full of ups and downs, a constant ebb and flow between war and peace. Everything has a positive and negative charge. Harmony and disharmony, order and chaos, clarity and confusion, calm and conflict are all partners. And in our physical world, you cannot have one without the other. Yet, like all of us, you sometimes wish that things could change. Why can't we just live in peace? Well, the answer is that peace is possible, but you can only find it from within. The first step is to accept the world as it is. Just let things be. Trust that everything happens for a reason and that there is a higher purpose to all things. Now become aware of your breath. Let it guide you to a place of peace and light, a beautiful garden within the golden chamber of your heart. It is here within your inner sanctuary that you will find the peace you seek. Peace is only possible when there is peace within, your, within our hearts. When you are able to find peace even in the midst of chaos, then you are a true master. The affirmation for this is, I accept and love the world as it is. I trust that there is a higher order to everything. I find solitude in the sanctuary of my heart. I move my awareness within. I am the peace that I seek. Okay? So this is a good message. All right? I love it. Very powerful. So it's just letting you guys know that there is a lot of stuff going on. Or a lot could be going on with you right now, Virgo, or just in life in general. You know, and it's going to, you know, it's going to calm down. It's going to simmer down. Things are meant to happen and be the way they are. Okay? So, love it. This is your reading. If it resonated... You know, show fire some love, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can book on 
my online store, mytearsofhealmyheart.com. Alrighty? Bye, Virgos.